Adam is here, which is popular weather for ATVs, dirt bikes, and ROVs. Before going on that trip, though, you have to maintain safety between all who are participating. So Dwayne Taylor with the ATV Safety Institute and Recreational Off-Highway Vehicle Association is here to give some tips to ride safely. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm jealous with all these beautiful machines behind you. Hi, thanks for having me. And yeah, who doesn't want to get outdoors and who doesn't want to have an adventure with their family and friends out on the trails? Um, and we know when you're outdoors and you're active, uh, it's really good for your health, both physical and mental. Um, so the ways I like to get have fun is by driving a side-by-side -side or riding an ATV or a dirt bike. Just a great time with friends. So how can families prepare to hit the trails? Yeah, first get trained. Visit responsiblerecreation.org to learn about the uh, hands-on safety courses that the industry offers courses that are tailored to each individual vehicle. So if you want to learn how to operate a side-by-side, -side, for example, you would take one course. There are also courses for ATVs and dirt bikes. And with these vehicles, ATVs and dirt bikes, there are also kids-only classes as well. Uh, of course, we recommend all, everyone in the family get involved and learn how to uh, operate these vehicles in the environments for which they're intended. Okay, so what about when you're out there, everything's unloaded, and you're ready to ride? Well, a couple things. One, quickly do a walk around your vehicle and do a safety check. Check the tires, the wheels, the brakes, the electronics. Just generally look around and make sure nothing looks damaged, frayed, or broken in any way. Because we know you can drive one of these vehicles or ride one of these vehicles further in an hour than you can walk in a day. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that vehicle is in good working order before you go. Second thing you want to do is put on all the appropriate safety gear. It's the same gear for all of these vehicles. You want to start with the Department of Transportation compliance helmet, good goggles or other uh, eye protection, long sleeves, full fingered gloves, sturdy pants and over the ankle boots. That's the bare minimum. That's what you're going to ride to keep you unaware to keep you safe on every ride. You may also consider some other safety gear. Uh, we have chest and back protectors, elbow guards, knee guards, motocross style boots that better protect your ankles. But at a minimum, make sure you gear up with the appropriate gear every single ride. Now, I did hear there are some places you should not be riding. Yeah, absolutely. These are off-highway vehicles, and as such, they're designed to be operated on trails and areas open for off-highway vehicle use. So if you're at a trail area, stay on the trail. Don't blaze new paths. We want to be respectful of the environment, and we want to be good stewards of the environment. Uh, so stay on trail. That's where you're supposed to be. In some areas, if you go off trail, you may come in across a law enforcement official who has a citation and a fine for you. So please, operate these where they're supposed to be operated. I'll also note that with respect to ATVs and side-by-sides, these are off-highway vehicles and are not intended to be used on paved surfaces or operated on public roads. These vehicles for off-road use only. Uh, the motorcycle next to me is actually a dual sport motorcycle, completely appropriate to ride this on the road and on designated OHV trails, but ATVs and side-by-sides, off-road only. Well, this is all such great information. Where can we go for more? Yeah, I encourage everyone to go to responsiblerecreation.org. That's where you can learn how to take our hands-on and online safety training. It's also where you'll find all the information about all the safety gear you need to, to safely operate these vehicles. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Have a great rest of your day.